Hi, Gregor. I was in the basement. <laughs> I was upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. What's up? My name's Russ. This is Gregor Arturo, live in person. I always mess up the middle last name thing you have. That isn't even a name, which I just found out today. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know if anybody knows Gregor. There'll be like a handful that know this guy all the way back from like 2008 era. Vortex based mathematics, which is what really got me started into the place you see now. And this guy, this guy is to blame for the, the reason I'm even here at this facility. So, oh, thanks. <laughs> Full circle. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy. It was, it was, it was interesting how I was sort of almost going to come to Tango with you. Now I've been hanging out in Tango without even being hanging yeah. out with you. Yeah. And so. And then he shows up today and talks to my boss and just hanging out and discussing ideas and thinking through stuff and it's like timing wasn't right apparently. No, it wasn't. But timing seems to be better now. Yeah. On par. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I just spent you know quite a few months in high desert to develop some of the theories <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And so it paid off. Yeah. Absolutely. So I got nothing else to discuss. I just thought I'd make this fun video. Absolutely. Gregor's here. Yeah. I love Gregor. Geek out fun. Yeah. And uh yeah, uh, I've, I've always wanted to work with Russ, always, always, and like, as in we were probably, even though we he, started out working together well, in theory at the at the Roten Coil group. Google group, yeah, which is where I met most of the fundamental people that I know today still. Yeah, I've definitely been more theory, he's been more application, but we both love like MacGyver fabrication. Yeah, yeah. it's like how 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 do we build this? Well, we're gonna figure it out. We'll yeah. make it happen. Yeah, and so and that's where we've come today. Before I forget, yeah. we ramble on to no ends. What is your YouTube channel? It is Gregor Arturo. YouTube.com slash Gregor, G-R-E-G-O-R, -E -G Gregor without the Y, because I figured that part out. Arturo, A-R-T-U-R-O. I'll link it in the description, but mm -hmm. you should check out his stuff. It's, he's a really, 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 really like inspirational guy. He's just, I like it. I, I watched the video this morning, he posted like two days ago or something, and it was like, the... I've, I've not lost some of my intention of my like uh, inspirational aspect of me. I still have some of that, but but I, I can't express it the same as you can just freely express it. And so I like I like that a lot. I try, but I'm, I'm in a different mode some days where I'm like I'm more like uh, uh, I don't like I, I don't like to say I'm more professional because I just like to just fart around and have fun. But like I feel like I have I have to be a little more respectful on the professional side, which bothers me. You know? I mean, I'm right there with you. And it's, I mean, like, it's weird. I mean, yeah. I'm in LA and I go to all these business meetings all the time. However, the more I, I play professional and being business, the more I can realize I can just be myself because yeah. actually people respect who I am. That's, that's and they right. really do. Yeah. You know, I go into all these business meetings wearing a wand and they're like, wait, do you have a knife? And I pull it out and they're like, oh wow, that's a wand. And I'm actually, I'm not scared to pull out my wand and share my wand anymore. And, and going into whatever situation I'm in, and just being myself. Because one of the things is, is what I present myself the way I want to present myself. And, and I've studied language and, and rhetoric so much that as, as long as I speak my mind, it brings me to these circles. I don't have a degree in science, uh, or a degree in anything for that matter, but people hear how I articulate myself. Yeah. And so just I've learned how to present myself the way I want to present myself. Yeah. And being Being real, like, People will walk up to me in real life and be like, hey, you're just like you are in your videos. And I was like, that's because I'm not a fake loony, I'm freaking me, I'm just doing my thing, man. And people like, it's, it's funny to see the reaction, because I guess there's a lot of people out there that, that act a different way, and then you meet them in person. And like, that's the way I roll every day. I'm just doing what I do and trying to be helpful and just and then, love people and like, you know. Just do the thing you like to do, and don't be so worried about it. who's looking over you and what they think about you, and just like and that's the truth. The people around. That's really the truth. <laughs> I mean, because sometimes people are like, Gregor, you need to like edit your videos and, and cut them down, and I'm like, and, and and you know, script some things. Every like, trust me, every time I've scripted something, there's a couple of my stuff that's scripted on YouTube. It's a whole different energy. And it's not me, you know. Yeah, that's right. And when I just get be myself. That's it's that's so that's much the beauty. Better. That's the improv. It's that's so the much better. Yeah. That's why sometimes I'm editing, like you say, because I edit my videos, and sometimes I'm editing, and I'm like, man, like this video just doesn't feel good mm -hmm. because it's just not you doing your thing. It's mm -hmm. like you trying to be 
a little more professional, and he's like, nah, just scrap that, throw it out, go record that, and just be goofy, you know, fart in the camera, do that. And that's the only, that's the only thing I could, that I recommend with scripting, or the evolution of scripting and, and improv, is like, do it again. Do the entire thing again. Just yeah. throw it out and just do the entire thing again. Yeah. You know, and you're just going to feel your flow a little bit better that second round, yeah. if, if that's the case. Yeah. Hey, what do you think about my, my, not my space, but my space? This is the space that's mine. But it's, uh, it, I don't technically own the space, I just build the space. Whenever you have like stainless steel everywhere, <laughs> it's awesome, it's superb. It's always the sign of like beauty versus like, I mean, I've been, the shop I'm in is straight MacGyver. It's beautiful, but it's MacGyver. But it feels like home. It, it sort of feels like home. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And I have that same feel because, well, frankly, I'm in a garage. <laughs> I like the garage feel. Yes. Even though this looks professional, it's still a freaking garage. Oh, I love being you know? outside and being like, is, it, is that inside what I think is inside that? I'm like, oh, no way. No yeah. way. Great. And so, like, in some ways it is squeaky clean, but it's still in a garage. It's still, like, it's still at the heart of where we grew up, which is, like, MacGyver's yeah, garage. in our garages. Mm -hmm. Doing our thing. Yep. Hey, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Check it out. Check out some of this guy's coils. Let's see. You've got this one. Get close. Ooh. These are my uh, copper octograms. I've made these for like six years. They're triple helixes. Handmade these. They're, they're, I've, uh, there are over 150 of them out there. Lots of badasses have these and wear them, creating a, a coherence grid between us. And these I recently have been getting 3D printed and gold plated. The gold plating on this is a little weak, but we're getting 24 karat on it. And I'm really excited to get the 24 karat on That's these. Really this is the Seal of Solomon. Star of David. Show them your swords better. And, and, and explain it briefly. And this is uh, the, the wands I make. And these are basically like reverse transducers. It's a really simple transducer. And the, the technology I like is technology you don't have to plug in. So it's understanding passive aspects within systems. And so understanding, especially like the magnetic properties of things, diamagnetism, paramagnetism, things that are always interacting with the Earth's magnetic environment. We might not be seeing it, but there is, there is this real interaction happening every second. And so piezoelectric crystals uh, respond to sound and pressure. And so my voice right now is actually causing the crystal to oscillate to my voice. If I put it into motion, it actually causes the crystal to compress ever so slightly. Um, and so uh, being it's a piezoelectric crystal, it converts that sound into electrostatic pulses. When the copper is a, a mirror, it reflects those pulses and focalizes it on the tip. So my voice is causing this to convert into electrostatic pulses and create a magnetic field. And then being I've done energy work for a long time, I can sense the magnetic fields. I can actually like work and form and you know, play wizard. Play so. wizard. Hey, awesome sauce. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Awesome, everyone.